Sheboygan man charged with neglect after a child goes missing. True changes pleas to five counts of hit and run. Kohler police investigate verbal threat. These and other local stories are coming up on this edition of Community News Review. This is Community News Review, a service WSCS-TV, news content provided by WHBL. I'm Maddie Fister, and this is Community News Review for Tuesday, December 17th, 2019. A Sheboygan man is facing criminal charges less than a week after his two-year-old went missing from the family's home after a late night fight. 24-year-old Cody Kroll was charged with felony child neglect after Sheboygan police were called to a home on Wisconsin Avenue early last Thursday morning after Kroll reported the child had gone missing. Officers learned that Kroll and the mother of his child had gotten into an argument earlier that day and Kroll had put the child to bed. He then drove to the mother's job because he believed she had been talking to other men. While he was waiting at the woman's workplace, the woman snuck out, went back to the home, gathered up some belongings, and took the child to a friend's house. The woman said Kroll had hit her numerous times and would stalk her and take her phone so she wasn't able to make calls. In addition to the child neglect, Kroll is facing felony stalking charge and half a dozen additional charges. He faces more than six years in prison if he is found guilty. Kohler police were called to investigate a verbal threat that was made in a district last week. Over the weekend, Kohler Police Chief Sean Splivalo issued a press release saying Kohler Police Department service officer contacted them about a threat made by a 13-year-old student. An investigation was launched and they determined that there was no credible threat to the school. The 13-year-old was referred to a juvenile intake A man accused of killing four people in a hit-and-run crash last November has taken a plea deal. Colton True, 22, accepted a plea deal Monday afternoon to plead no contest to four felony counts of homicide by intoxicated use of a vehicle and pled guilty to a felony count of a hit-and-run with great bodily harm. Six other charges, including a hit-and-run, involving death and bail jumping were dismissed but read in. Chippewa County Judge James Isaacson found True guilty on all five counts during the plea hearing. The four counts of homicide have maximum penalties of 40 years in prison, while the count of hit and run with great bodily harm was maximum penalty of 15 years in prison. The charges stem from a November 2018 crash where True drove his car off the road and crashed into a Girl Scout troop that was picking up litter. Three scouts and a, an adult volunteer were killed, and a criminal complaint said he had been huffing from an aerosol can before the crash. A sentencing date has been set for March 10th and 11th, as a PSI has been ordered to be completed before True is sentenced. The Wisconsin State Patrol says it arrested a 30-year-old Antigo man for operating a motor vehicle under the influence around 3.30 Saturday afternoon. The driver had a two-year-old in the car and the State Patrol said a troop, trooper stopped the vehicle from moving in and out of its lane. When the trooper walked up to the car, he smelled marijuana and the State Patrol says the driver had a suspended license. The driver was arrested and could be charged with operating under the influence, first offense, with a child under the age of 16, operating after suspension, third offense, and possession of marijuana and drug paraphernalia. An intruder in Sparta home tried to disguise himself as Santa Claus, but he wasn't fooling anyone. 
Police say 32-year-old KBNB Coleman of Rockland was hiding in a closet on December 10th. The homeowner said they were alerted to Coleman's presence when their dog started barking towards the closet door. The homeowner tried to open the door, but it couldn't because Colton was holding the door shut. That is when police say he said ho 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 and warned he could ruin their Christmas surprise if the door was opened. Police say Coleman then ran off to a nearby house and took some items from a garage before heading into a third home. Eventually, he was tracked to a garage where he was taken into custody, and Coleman told officers he had no intention of hurting anyone and was just trying to stay out of the cold. He was booked on charges of trespassing and resisting or obstructing an officer, and also had an active arrest warrant from another county. Officers say he also admitted to using drugs just before the incident. And finally, Acuity has been honored with a Glassdoor Employees' Choice Award, recognizing the best places to work in 2020. The award is based solely on the input of employees who select, who elect to provide feedback on their jobs, work environments, and companies on Glassdoor, one of the world's largest job and recruiting sites. Over 900,000 employers are reviewed on Glassdoor and out of those, Acuity is ranked in the top 100. We are honored and humbled to be valued so highly as place of work, said Ben Salzman, Acuity president and CEO. The Employee's Choice Award program is now in its 12th year, and this year marks the shift to culture first decade in the workplace. And Glassdoor Employee's Choice Award winners are employers that are prioritizing culture, mission, and employees at the heart of doing everything they do. By doing so, their employees have spoken and are recognizing them truly as the best places to work in 2020, said Christian Sutherland Wong, Glassdoor president. The latest honor adds to Acuity's rec continued and growing recognition as a great place to work. Acuity's was recently named the Forbes list of employers best in state employers 2019 ranked at sec number two in Wisconsin America's best mid-size employers best employers for women and best employers for diversity in November the ensuer also received the accord millennial women's insurance advancement award and that is our report for today. Join me again next time for more local news and information on Community News Review. News content for this program provided by WHBL in cooperation with WSCS-TV.